So remember, kids, don't artichoke your chicken too much or... Hey, Grumpy, what you doing? Oh, hi, Sonny. I'm just practicing for my cooking class later. Oh, really? You do cooking tutorials? Sometimes, if I have time. Wait, how did you get in here? The tavern's not open yet. I kicked the door in. <laughs> Grumpy, you can't do that. Why not? There's no cops here. I just saw three guys trying to kill someone next to that big tree outside. <laughs> Grumpy, you're drunk. Wait, did you kick the door down so you could get drunk? Or because you already were drunk? I'm not drunk. <laughs> hey, twerps. How's it going? Hey, Magnus. What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. Ah, I'm okay. Grampy said I could get rid of my corruption by doing a religious quest. So here I am to get a quest. You get quests from the tavern, right? Yeah, but not here. You gotta get out of here. This place is full of bounty hunters and killers, just waiting for a guy like you to come in and give themselves up. But Grampy said I could get a quest here. You can, but not a religious quest. You need to go to a temple for that. The tavern is a place for people to meet and talk about their adventures. You can get food and drink here to fill up your life meter. And you can even rent a room if you're tired. Sounds like PlayStation Home. I hope not. That place sucked. So where do I find this temple? The next closest one is on the outskirts of Sandalwood City. The next big town over. But you probably need our help to get there. Everybody will be trying to kill you for the bounty. Tell me about it. I just killed three guys outside by the big tree. I think they were waiting for me. Yeah, taverns are not a good place for you. You gotta get out of here before the tavern opens. In theory, we could protect you all the way there. When someone attacks you, they instantly become a combatant. So we can counterattack them without incurring corruption. That can't be true. That sounds like a loophole. It might be. I don't know. I've never tried it before. Wanna try? Okay, let's go. Cookies, cupcakes, real life potions, baked fresh daily. Oh, hi, Grampy. Brand muffin for you? No, thanks. Not today. I'm just dropping a friend off. He needs to get rid of his corruption. Hi. Oh, a bad boy, eh? You better get inside before somebody snipes you. Temples are surrounded by campers waiting to pick off corrupted players. How did you even get this far without being killed? Grampy's a retired hunter. He can see stuff no one else can. Like hidden passages and stuff. Whoa. You're a bounty hunter? Retired. But I still have some old tricks up my sleeve. Is that why you asked Magnus his name? Sure was. You don't think I went out there to help you chop wood, do you? I'm old. Chopping wood is hard. When a person becomes corrupt, their name and location is displayed as an alert to all the bounty hunters in the area so they can go there and collect the bounty. I was fishing at the stream when I saw Magnus headed your way. And saved me. Thanks, Grampy. Cookies, cupcakes, real life potions. That reminds me, I have to get back. I have a cooking class to prepare. Fadama will explain how the temples work. Hang on, I'll go with you. Good luck, Magnus. In this episode, we learned a little bit about taverns and explored Grampy's mysterious past. In the next episode, we'll continue to follow the adventures of Magnus as he tries to remove his corruption and learn a little bit more about temples. See, we told you we needed to keep Magnus alive. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Subscribe so you don't miss it.